Dear students, in this class, we are going to see the concept of the stability factors. In the last class, already we have seen different types of biasing techniques and compensation techniques to stabilize the operating point Q. And it is a time for us now to select the best biasing circuit by calculating the stability factor for each and every biasing circuit. So, once again you see the common emitter output characteristics VCE and IC. And this is the load line which is connecting the two points VCC by RC and VCC. And which is intersecting this common emitter output characteristics at a different places. Already we concluded that the best location of the operating point is at the center of the load line. But unfortunate thing is, as the Q is having the coordinates of VC and IC, this collector current IC is a function of temperature. Whenever the temperature variation occurs, then automatically Q also changes. It may move either in the upward direction, that means that is towards the saturation region or towards your cutoff region. So to fix up this operating point and to make it stable, then definitely we have used different types of circuits in the last class. Now I would like to tell you which biasing circuit is the best circuit by calculating the different stability factors. So your IC, collector current IC is a function of three parameters. One is the reverse charge resistance current IC naught, base to emitter voltage VBE and beta. Now I would like to calculate the dependence of IC on each and every factor that is nothing but the stability factor. So I would like to calculate what is the change in IC due to the change in IC naught. What is the change in IC due to the change in VBE? What is the change in IC due to the change in the beta value? So those are nothing but the stability factors. So I would like to calculate first rate of change of IC with respect to IC naught, keeping the other parameters constant that is VBE and beta constant. This is nothing but the definition of your stability factor yes. So change of collector current with the reverse saturation current keeping other two parameters constant is nothing but a stability factor yes. So like this I would like to see the other variations also. S dash is equal to rate of change of the collector current with respect to the base emitter voltage keeping the other two parameters IC naught and beta constant. IC naught and beta constant that is called S dash. The other stability factor is S double dash is equal to change of your IC with beta value keeping IC naught and VBE constant. And yes, this IC is a function of three parameters here, IC naught, VBE and beta. Whenever I am calculating the change with respect to one quantity, I am putting other two parameters constants. That is nothing but the concept of your partial differential equations. So these are the definitions of S, S dash and S double dash. Now, if you are seeing here in the word statements like this, if you are taking the stability factor C S, S is equal to dou IC by dou IC naught, dou IC by dou IC naught, that is approximately equal to delta IC divided by delta IC naught. But at that time, the other two parameters should be constant. So you can say your VBE and beta constant for this, constant. So if you are taking this word statements here, stability factor yes, it is the rate of change of collector current with respect to the reverse saturation current keeping beta VBE constant. That is the definition of your yes. Coming to the definition of S dash, S dash is nothing but dou IC by dou VBE, dou IC by dou VBE. So you can say S dash is equal to dou IC by 
डो वी बी ई दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू डेल्टा आई सी डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा वी बी ई एट दैट टाइम योर आई सी नॉट एज वेल एज बेटा कॉन्स्टेंट सो दीज टू पैरामीटर्स आर कॉन्स्टेंट सो इफ यू आर टेक इन द स्टेबिलिटी फैक्ट एस डबल डैश देन यू कैन से इट इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ कलेक्टर करेंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बेटा दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू डेल्टा आई सी डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा बेटा कीपिंग आई सी नॉट एज वेल एज वी बी ई कॉन्स्टेंट्स सो हियर यू कैन सी इट वेरी क्लियरली इन द वर्ड स्टेटमेंट स्टेबिलिटी फैक्टर एस डैश इट इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ कलेक्टर करेंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द वी बी ई कीपिंग आई सी नॉट एंड बेटा कॉन्स्टेंट दीज डेफिनेशन आर वेरी वेरी इंपारटेंट वेन एवर यू आर कैलक्युलेटिंग द स्टेबिलिटी फैक्टर्स एंड स्टेबिलिटी फैक्टर एस डबल डैश इट इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ ऐ सी विथ बेटा कीपिंग ऐ सी नॉट वी बी ई कॉन्स्टेंट सो देर आर थ्री स्टेबिलिटी फैक्टर्स वन इज एस एस डैश एंड एस डबल डैश सो एज ऐ सी इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ दीज थ्री वेरियबल्स ऐ सी नॉट वी बी ई एंड बेटा यू हव टू कैलक्युलेट फर् ईच एंड एवरी बयासिंग सर कोड वाट आर दि वैल्यूस ऑफ एस S dash and S double dash. So now I would like to tell you what is the common expression required for calculating the stability factor. Now we are going to derive the general expression for the stability factor. Yes, you know the collector current I C is equal to beta times I B plus I C E O. Reverse saturation current in common emitter configuration. This is also equal to beta times I B plus beta plus one times I C B O means the reverse saturation current I C O. So I C is equal to this is the expression we are using for all types of calculations. Now I would like to calculate the stability factor S. What is S by definition? By definition. S is equal to do I C by do I C not. That means variation of I C with the reverse saturation current, keeping V B E and beta constant. So that's why, if you are taking this definition, just substitute this and differentiate this expression on both sides with respect to I C. So if you are differentiating this, it becomes. With respect to I C, the differentiation is one. One is equal to beta times do I B by do I C plus beta plus one into I C do I C not divided by do I C. That means we have differentiated on both sides with respect to I C. Now, if you take this, one is equal to beta into Do I B by do I C means do I B by do I C do I C plus beta plus one into by definition do I C not by do I C means it is the stability factor one by S so it becomes one by S so beta plus one into one by S is equal to one minus beta into do i b by do i c therefore what is yes yes is equal to beta plus 1 divided by 1 minus beta into do i b by do i c so this is the generalized expression for the stability factor yes s is equal to beta plus 1 divided by 1 minus beta into do i b by do i c So, if you want to calculate the stability factor, yes, which is the variation with respect to the reverse saturation current, the logic is very simple. You have to differentiate your I B with respect to I C. How you are going to calculate I B? Already I told you in the last class. If you want to find out the value of I B, you have to write the K V L for the input loop. So, if we, if you take fixed bias, collector to base bias, or emitter bias. Just write the expression for the IB and differentiate that IB with respect to 
IC. That value you please substitute in the generalized expression, then you are going to get the stability factor S. So stability factor S indicates how much stable the circuit is. And remember friends, if you are getting the more value of S means it is less stable. And if you are having the less value of S means it is more stable. For example, I am telling you, if you are having S is equal to 10, S is equal to 100 and S is equal to 200 like this. Then which circuit is the best circuit? The best circuit is nothing but a circuit having the least stable factor. Yes. Least value is preferable. If the S value is less means it is more stable. If the S value is more means it is very very less stable. Depending on the value of this S you can decide which is the best biasing circuit. Okay. So, this is a generalized expression. Now, I would like to calculate the stability factor for different biasing circuits. So, let me take the fixed bias first, then I will calculate what is S and what is S dash and what is S double dash also. Let us calculate the stability factors for the fixed bias circuit. So, this is the fixed bias circuit. By writing the KVL for the input loop, VCC is equal to IBRB plus VBE. So, from this expression I can write down what is the value of IB? IB is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RB. So, this is the input current equation IB. Here VCC is fixed, VBE is fixed and RB is fixed. As all the values are fixed, IB is also fixed. That is the reason we are calling this as a fixed by our circuit. Now, for calculating the stability factor, yes. By definition, you can say S is nothing but the variation of your IC with respect to IC naught, keeping the other parameters constant. What are the other parameters? VBE and beta constant. Because you know very well, your IC character current is a function of three parameters. One is the reverse acceleration current IC naught second one is VBE and the third one is beta. Now I am calculating the first stability factor that is S. Just now I, I have shown the stability factor S is equal to 1 plus beta by 1 minus beta into dou IB by dou C. Dou IB by dou IC. So you got this expression IB is equal to VCC minus VBE by RB. So what is the value of dou IB by dou IC? Differentiation of IB with respect to IC is equal to 0. Why it is 0? Because all are constants. Derivative of constant is 0. That's why I would like to put this value in this one. Therefore, your S is equal to 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus 0. That means this is equal to 1 plus beta. So, the stability factor for the fixed bias circuit is equal to 1 plus beta or beta plus 1. You know very well, my dear friends, the value of beta will be in terms of hundreds also. The stability factor is having the more value, that means less stable. So, from this expression, immediately you can say fixed by our circuit is not a stable circuit. That means the operating point is always shifting either upwards or downwards. So, that is the reason it is the circuit having the poor stability. That is the reason people are not using that much. So, exactly like this, I would like to go for the another stability factor S dash. What is S dash? S dash means you can say it is the variation of IC with respect to VBE and keeping the other parameters constant, reverse saturation current and beta constants. So now I would like to calculate the stability factor S dash by differentiating IC with respect to VBE. So, you can say from this expression, just now I have gone, taken the input expression IB is equal to, you can say VCC minus VBE divided by RB. This is IB. I want IC. IC is equal to beta times IB. Therefore, IC is equal to beta times IB. So, multiply with beta here, beta into VCC minus VBE divided by RB. 
okay rb so you can say that here it is with respect to vbe i have to do this therefore i can say do ic by do vbe is equal to do ic by do vbe is equal to so what is the differentiation with respect to this if you just splitting into two two things you can say beta into vcc by rb minus beta into vbe by rb okay now differentiation with respect to vbe means what about the first term beta vcc rb all are constants so derivative of constant is zero so what about this third term with respect to vbe if you do it it becomes minus beta by rb therefore do ic by do vbe is equal to minus beta by rb which is equal to your s dash s dash means the stability factor that means variation of ic with respect to vbe so what is the value of s dash s dash value is minus beta by rb here also the beta is more so that is the reason it is having poor stability then what about the stability factor s double dash s double dash the definition of s double dash is change of the collector current with respect to beta keeping ic not and vbe constants this is the definition of your s double dash so with respect to beta you have to with respect to beta you have to differentiate here come on you take the same equation ic here ic is equal to ic is equal to beta times vcc divided by rb minus beta times vbe divided by rb therefore do ic by do beta with respect to beta if you do it then it will be with respect to beta means is 1 vcc by rb minus you can say vbe by rb so this is the way of actually calculating the s double dash s double dash means the stability factor which is telling about the variation of ic with respect to beta so in this way you have to calculate the stability factors for your fixed bias yes s dash and s double dash generally the most important factor to determine the stability of the circuit is yes yes means variation of ic with respect to ic not but for this circuit if you are taking the value of your yes it is very high it is almost all 1 plus beta beta will be in terms of hundreds that is the reason it is a poor stable circuit okay i hope you understood how to calculate the stability factors for your fixed bias 